Now, I was asked to speak to energy independence uh, and our energy future for the United States, and I very much want to do that because it is so much a cornerstone of uh, what we are as an economy, uh, how we take care of our planet, uh, what our standing is in, in the world and, and our national uh, security. And we are at a point in time where we have done better than most people thought we would be doing it at this point. And this is not my first time here in Las Cruces and in southern New Mexico. I was here many times uh, as Secretary of Interior. I helped put together the resolution on the 6 year conflict between the potash industry and the oil and gas industry. And to all of you companies that were involved in that, I thank you for getting that done uh, while I was Secretary of Interior. I was here working as well in trying to resolve the issues under the Endangered Species Act and the conflict between the dunes lizard as well as uh, oil and gas development. And thank you as well uh, for the community that made that happen and uh, that we got a successful result there. And I was here with uh, the President of the United States uh, on a day back in 2012, now just about a year or so ago, where I went with the President to visit one of the ConocoPhillips wells. I met with the workers and with uh, the representatives of ConocoPhillips there. As I was driving with the President in his uh, limousine, we came in on Air Force One, we took a helicopter and landed at a place where we got into a car, and it was just the driver and the President of the United States and I as we were driving out to, uh, the, uh, the, the, to the field. And I told the President, one of the things that we really needed to be very proud of is the fact that we as a United States of America had come so far with respect to getting to energy security for the United States of America. In my pocket, I had a, an outline that I had used on the floor of the United States Senate as Senator Domenici and Senator Bingham and I were pushing for the Energy uh, Policy Act of 2005. And I showed the President what it was that I said back in 2005. I said that we had to move forward with uh, energy independence for the United States, and this was a good way for us to start to finally resolve this issue which had bedeviled uh, prior administrations. I also said, Guy, to your point earlier, that we had been a country that had been yearning to, this, to get to this energy future, but somehow the solution was not within our grasp. I said that the EIA, Guy, your statistics, showed that we were importing 60% of our oil from foreign countries, and that within 10 years we were projected to import as much as 70% of our oil from foreign countries. There's a group of people, it's a group called Set America Free, that talked about how we needed to really grasp the future of energy for the United States of America because of our national security, because of our economic security, and because of our environmental security. People like C. Boyd and Gray, a conservative Republican, people like Tim Worth, former U.S. Senator from Colorado, and I spoke to that that day on the floor of the U.S. Senate. I told the President as we were driving out to the Conoco Phillips well that we had come so far from that speech on the floor of the U.S. Senate in 05 to where we were in 2012, because in that time we were already down to 40 percent of our imports from foreign countries, and now we are below 40 percent of our imports from foreign countries. And as you saw from some of the earlier slides, we are on a trend where we actually will be able to import less and less of our oil from foreign countries. So we're at a good time in the United States of America. We're, a good, we're at a good time in terms of North American energy independence. And that was the main point uh, in the conversation that the President and I 